Watch you guys, got another video here on removing power licks from your system. It's a, a Trojan which opens up a back door. And uh, if you get infected with this, you may find yourself uh, with a system that's using high CPU usage. And also you may find yourself uh, having a, a lot of memory being used on the system. Loads of processes opening. You may get PowerShell errors and stuff like that popping up on the system. And uh, it's pretty tricky to remove but now they've got a tool that helps you remove it and that's why I'm making this video just to enlighten you guys to get the tool it makes it a lot easier to remove from the system because it can be pretty tricky to remove so let's take a look at the uh, task manager here as you can see here we've pretty much got hardly anything happening here and this is in a virtual box but in a real uh, computer on the, in the wild you will probably see loads of activity here and this dllhost.exe will be pretty much chugging up a load of CPU usage and also the memory uh, will start to climb really high. And you might may also notice here that the com surrogate area here, this is the uh, common with this type of Trojan. So at the moment it's running a bit dormant, but uh, it does start up and then once it does, you will get masses of uh, usage here and also memory as well. But there is a tool that you can actually use, and I'll show you uh, the two tools. There is actually a tool from ESET, and there's also a tool from Semantic, which uh, removes this as well. Okay. So you can download any one of these tools, okay, and this will help you remove this from the system. So we'll take a look at Process Explorer here, and you should see it running here, and it's actually running pretty dormant at the minute. There's normally a big list of stuff down here that will start opening up. And there'll be a few of these DLL host files that will start to kick open and uh, you will see loads of it activity here. But this is an unpacked version, so look, this is not a real um, real live version which you would see in the wild. So let's have a look at um, the actual removal process here. We're going to use a tool, as I said, from ESETs. And uh, we're going to right click and run this as administrator. Again, you can use any one of these tools. And what you're looking for, as you will see, Win32 power licks uh, found in your system, and you want to remove that. Okay, now you can remove any one of these, use any one of these tools here. I'm just going to push Y for yes here, and that will then say it's been removed from your system. So again, as you can see here, you just come to the website and download their tool. This is the 64-bit, and the 32-bit is here. Okay. And uh, if you want to run these, you can run either one, as I said. You just run this, the same thing. But it has been removed now. We need to restart the system. And I'm just going to run this. Okay, that's done. And this does give you a log file as well. As you can see here, you'll get a log file. And this is because uh, we've already removed it. But there will be a full list of a log file. This is the actual log file for ESET, which actually removed uh, the infection. So let's reboot the system, and I'll show you a couple of other steps. Okay, another tool that we was using when we removed it was um, Roadkiller, and Roadkiller did actually detect it. There was listed up here in the processes it was showing the location, which gave me a good way of removing it manually. Um, but here. Uh, as well you can see uh, there's nothing on the system but this is another good tool to use you just run that like that and then click scan it will then run a scan on the system to make sure there's nothing on there as I said this did detect it it didn't quite remove it at the time when I used it um, it did detect it but it was having trouble it was slowing this um, program right up because all the CPU usage and memory usage from that uh, Powerlix was a uh, using all that uh, resources it wouldn't let it run properly it took forever um, but this is a tool that I would advise you to have a little scan with as well Okay, that's the scan finished and as you can see here you can run through here and have a little look you see a pub proxy that's been uh, installed there and it will just remove all this sort of stuff I mean you can just clean up any any other remnants that's there okay 
and you just push uh, any of this stuff and it will remove any of this junk from the system you can fix host files from here as well you can check uh, for anti root kits here in general pretty decent bit of kit this uh, software so we're going to delete and uh, what we're going to do here I'm going to close this off and uh, another tool that you might want to use is uh, Malwarebytes give this a run if you've had this type of infection on the system I'd advise you to use something like this you got the pro version there for a little trial if you wish to use that I would advise you to buy the uh, pro version it's, it's a decent piece of software for protection it's a good line of defense it's going to quickly fix this and run a scan with malware bytes and that's the actual scan finished now you can see here we've got something in the recycle bin uh, there that's just some junk so we're just going to clean that recycle bin out apply these actions it will need to be restart uh, restarted so I would advise you to quickly do that now another thing you want to do is I would run a scan with ESET online scanner you can go onto Google and type ESET online scanner in the search there and then this is the actual page that you should get once you come here uh, you want to hit this uh, run ESET online scanner all these information is uh, on my website you can follow this uh, tutorial now to run this on there and what you want to do is click on this and then get the ESET smart installer this will then start to download here we can then drag this onto our desktop close that off and then what you want to do is run this okay say yes to the uh, terms conditions and click start and then click yes now again once you get inside here you want to make sure that you put the uh, enable detection of potentially unwanted applications that's a good place to start hit the advanced settings here now you can scan archives if you wish and we can also scan potentially unsafe applications which is also a good area to go and uh, you can check this mark here by changing this and uh, select the area that you want to scan now if you've got a load of partitions there you don't want to be scanning every single one of these so you just want to do the Windows Drive which is your C drive so you can do that if you wish but if you've got something on another partition you can always do that as well hit your start button it will download the uh, virus signature database and then run a full scan on that system and give you a log file just to make sure everything's tidied up and clean so that's basically how you can get rid of the Parallax uh, Trojan and also other viruses on your system you can run other scans like Hitman Pro as well if you're still infected and if you have any other problems you can always head over to my forum and I'll sure be able to help you over there okay so I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos okay so that's it that's said and done have a nice Christmas guys and I'll sure see you again in the next video thanks again for watching bye for now